in this video, we'll be talking about slope from a graph. Whenever we need to measure slope, we have to look at a line and measure the steepness or rate of change on that line. So when we talk about slope, it's the measure of steepness or rate of change. Another way we can think about this is the rise or the y direction over the run or the x direction, the horizontal measure. If we have a negative slope, if we look at that line heading from the left to the right, just like you read a book, you read from the left to the right, then we see that the line is heading downwards. And because it's heading downwards, we have to think of it as a negative slope. If we read the line from the left to the right once again, but it's heading up as it travels to the right, that's a positive slope. So down would be considered negative when we're talking about a slope of a line, and up as we head to the right would be positive slope. A big slope would be something that has a very steep slope. This would be if you're thinking about maybe climbing a hill or something like that where it would be really hard to climb that hill because it would be so steep. That would be a big slope. A small slope would be something very, very slow. slowly decreasing or slowly increasing for that matter. So it could also be a very shallow or small slope upwards, positive. So just so you can understand the difference between the two. Let's try some examples. If we wanted to find the slope in example one, we would try to find where the line crosses a very obvious coordinate point. And once again, another coordinate point, somewhat far apart. Sometimes this is easier to find than others, but you always want to make sure that the line crosses a very obvious intersection to find a coordinate spot. So at this point, we notice that the line crosses at negative 2, 0, and we're going to count up until we're horizontal with the other point at which the line intersects. So we're going to count up one, two, three, four. Now it's in line horizontally with the other point, coordinate point in which the line intersects. So this right here is considered our rise and it's four units. Likewise, if we count from this point over, we're going to get six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when we counted up, that is our y direction or our rise. Rise is the vertical measurements, and so that would be four, 
and our run would be the horizontal measurements and so we moved to the right six and we now have our slope. The slope reduces to two thirds. Remember, rise over run. Find your coordinate points. Count how far you travel up and how far you travel over and that will give you your slope. And don't forget to reduce it. Let's talk about example two. We need to find the slope of this line as well. Let's look at the coordinate point. Let's see, this one right here crosses that coordinate point very nicely and also this one right here. Let's figure out what those points are. We travel over three and up two, so that's gonna be negative three, two. That's our first coordinate point that I picked and I'm remembering I'm picking these because the line very, very specifically goes through those coordinate points. It wouldn't be as easy to figure out what this point right here would be just because it's not at a very specific intersection. Alright, so now we have to count our rise and run from the graph to see what our slope will be. Our rise is going to have to be down one, two, three. Since we're heading down or in the negative direction on our rise, our rise is negative. So this distance right here until I become horizontal with the other point I chose, then I have to say that this is negative three. Once again, I'm heading to the right or heading toward the positive direction, heading in a positive direction. And so this right here is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm heading to the right six units. So my rise was negative three and my run was positive six. If I reduce that, I get negative one half. And sure enough, if we look at these two graphs, you'll notice that this one, if we read the graph from left to right. It's heading upwards, so it's positive. And if we read this line from left to right, you'll see that it is heading downwards, and so it's negative. And this is a very quick way to determine what the sign of your final slope should be. Even if you're not quite sure what the exact slope will be, you'll know that this one should be positive and this one should be negative in the end.